Okay, here we are. You guys probably remember this house. Uh, pointed out a whole bunch of stuff on the steps last time. We're gonna be addressing just a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I could probably spend all day long literally on just these steps, but can't do that. And I could probably spend a full week here at this house. Uh, just fix this stuff. I mean, just a whole lot of unprofessional stuff. So, you know, this is all humped up, humped up, sticking out. Uh, just all the little bitty fuzzy unprofessional stuff is what we're going to fix. I mean, look, look there. At the door jam, right there, right there. Just gonna go around room by room by room and clean everything up. Right now, she is in a one of those little walker seat deals. So these transitions, what's going on with this install, as you can see, ouch. Uh, there's hardwood here. It went directly over the hardwood with this super thick pad and then this carpet. So it's raised up quite higher than the tile there. So I've cut the pad way back more than I would like to, honestly, but I'm going to stretch this back up and put down a super wide, one of those two-inch wide metals. Just to make this as gradual as possible so she's not tripping in the doorway. So I've cut the pad way back to here. Then I'll put my metal here. And then it'll just a gradual come up because I've done that already when I was here last time. But I didn't have the wider metals. So I didn't cut the pad back last time in the first couple doorways I did, but the rest of them I was like, hmm, that's when I decided to do that. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of them. So, looking back like this, you can definitely see all the mess. And not only there, I mean, just pretty much everywhere in here stuff. Most, most people may not realize this but a lot of this not necessarily that but the dipping down like that here before it gets to the wall it's all dipped down like that is simply from uh putting your tap strip too far away and not having it cut properly if you have big gaps and voids in your tap strip Obviously, you're going to have an ugly finish. Your tack strip is what makes a nice, clean finish, and people don't understand that. They think they can put it three-quarters of an inch away and have gaps in it and everything else. That don't work. If you do a sloppy job on your tack strip, there's no way of getting a clean, professional look on the overall finish. It don't work like that. You have to prep good to have a good outcome, period. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go around and replace all the tack strip and stuff, but I can uh, trim back and pretty up everything best I can. Look right here. It's just, it's probably almost a half inch short, if not a half inch short right here. There'll be some prettying up here. This is what I was talking about a while ago. Oh, it's a little bit short. That's okay. Just put another piece in there. Not a problem. I just seen this as I was reaching down to poke this. I seen that.
So what I'm having to do is rip a piece of plywood, three eighths thick, three eighths plywood, rip it and stick it in the gully there to have something that my nails will grab a hold of for the flat metal. Just wasn't having any luck. It was too high for the nails to catch without doing that. So I am now to the steps. See that or not. It's hard to see with this kind of card. Anyway, certainly you can see that big ridge right there. There's another one right. Oh, it's so hard to see with this color carpet. Anyway, big ridge there. This is just ridiculous. See if I can do something about that. I'm not going to do a whole lot because that'll just fall apart. I'll definitely take care of that. Uh, these are not stapled at all under under the nose, and it should be stapled up here, and they are actually stapled down here. So. There's the edge of the nosing right there. And there's actually stapled there. So there's an inch at least where they're not even underneath the nose and they should have been way up. Way up under there. There's no uh, sharp look to that whatsoever. So I don't know if I'll be able to get that and also get what I need for the crevice of these steps because they're not even down in the corners either. They're actually, I don't know, it feels like the pad is all the way to, the pad is all the way to the riser on them. So that's really, really, ouch. Staple or something right there. Anyway, I'm gonna do what I can do with this. Definitely ain't gonna be able to get these perfect by no means. This is just, just pathetic. There's actually a tax strip here, believe it or not. I can't believe that. It still looks ugly. Mercy. These are stapled so high up on the tread. Look, there's like three inches right there. From staple up here to staple right here. All right, three inch risers, which is so baloney. They're like five inches or a little bit better actually is what the risers are. From staple to staple, there's about three inches. So that lets you know how far off this is. I mean, look at that. Look at this round right there. No, no, I mean, you can tell. No crevice whatsoever anywhere. All of them are rounded. Just pathetic. Look at here. You say, well, this rounder kind of looks nice. Well, what about maybe having this let's see here pushed up there where it's supposed to be I can't even get it because there ain't enough carpet now oh my goodness mercy 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 we're just going to have to do what we can do like I said oh my gosh this is like a slide right here 
I know this is, this is, I've never seen such. Look at that. Look at this. Just, I don't have to say nothing. These are bullnose steps, supposedly. the staple it's way back here Quite lovely. And then from the letter B. Can't really do nothing about that. I don't have enough carpet to do anything with that, but at least I can get them under the nosings and it'll look at least like a defined step halfway. A halfway defined step. I don't know what it has enough to do this, fix the actual tread. And the goal is just tear them off and start again. We ain't got enough carpet to mash it down in there. What is it? Ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so pushing that up underneath the nose inch like that definitely gave this a more defined look. Unfortunately, we ain't got enough to do anything with that. We like I said, we just had to pull the pull the steps off and redo them to fix that. That's just pitiful. It's stapled too high up on the riser in order to push it down where it goes. Plus, if I push it down, I'm going to need an inch and a half or so of extra material on this riser that I don't currently have. So, mm -mm -mm. this one right here is probably by far the worst I have ever seen. I mean, if you was to put a square on there, it would probably stop right there. That don't look like much, but that's that's probably two and a half inches to the actual riser where this starts coming up off the floor because it's just pushed up. Look, see where it's hanging? Can you see where it's hanging? It's hanging right there as a staple. That is ridiculous. I don't know, you guys are probably tired of hearing me say that. And there's another one way up there. Instead of way down here in the gully. <sighs> Mercy. Anyway, that's all I can do. That's it. It's like, wee! 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 At least there are treads underneath the nose. Looks a little better anyway. Then all of them, I went up the whole set of steps doing that. And I tried to party up this a little bit. I did, I did all right, I guess. Got rid of all the backing from showing, which was actually all butchered up and stuff, but it looks better than it did by all means. Uh, actually, I could probably do something else right there, too. I didn't notice that. I need to see one right there. Anyway, it sure is ugly. It's all jacked up. I pulled this out, cut about an inch off of this where it was just it stuck way out, all ridiculous, and 
cut a bunch of that off to get it to actually fit against the riser here. This, and a whole lot to do with this, it's just short. If you pull back, you can actually see the tread. See that? He put a staple in the fiber, trying to hold the fiber over there, but just keep it fluffed over, I guess. And right here, I pulled this loose, cut a bunch of extra off, and tucked it back around in there. And stapled it there. Still got a little dressing up right there to do. Right in that corner. Oh, and also right here on this one, because it was sloped down so far here, uh, it was like stopped way out here. So I actually cut this back probably an inch or so to the actual riser and then it would fold around there flat. So anyway, I want to pretty that just a little bit more and do something right there on that. And we're going to be done on these steps.